Okay, so here we go. These are adjustable. Oh, where's my watch? There we go. The 5610. We'll get these adapters. Hopefully, these adapters are much better than uh, J and K's because those were horrible because they actually make your G-Shock into a very fragile Ming vase. Let's check it out. Now, I must say, if you to the left are the spring bars of the original G-Shock, and to the right are the spring bars that are delivered, so they look even a little bit better. So this is how one part looks. Yeah, so this looks nice. Let's see if it will focus. There we go. Yeah, it looks good. Let's do the other one. So there we go. This is with the attachment on it. Spring bars look good. Adapters look good as well. Come on, focus you. There we go. Let's put a strap around this one. All right, so where is it? Oh, there we go. So I got this, and I can do different things on there. Put this strap on. That looks really cool. I can put a orange NATO. This is a nice color too. And otherwise, I have this one as well. I think I'll go with the leather strap. I think it's just going to look very nice. Uh, by the way, they told me it was 22 millimeter, and it's actually 20 millimeter lug to lug. Uh, fortunately, I have loads and loads of this stuff uh, collected over the years, so I think I'm going to try the leather strap. Well, let's take a wrist shot. Hi, baby. That looks pretty cool. Good strap for it. Very good strap for it. Cheers. Chatty bye. Well, uh, oh, by the way, the reason I did this as well is because I developed an allergy for the reason band for the rubber. And I used to wear this watch while asleep. And I couldn't anymore because my wrist started to look like uh, gingerbread. So <laughs> I'm very happy with this. Let's try this tonight. Cheers, guys. Chatty bye.